Hey guys, it's me. I'm back and I'm in America right now. I'm sorry, it's been a really long time. I know you all missed seeing my videos, but here I am. And this is my room. And this is Jill. She's my roommate and she's from the Netherlands. And it's currently 12.04 in the morning. So today is the day that I'm doing my day in the life vlog. And it's the beginning of the day right now. And what we're doing is we're eating a midnight snack. So I was over here making my own logo and like my room was a mess. And Jill was just in her bed and started eating some cookies. <laughs> and I was like, mmm. And she offered me a cookie and it was really good. And I was like, you know what would be good with that cookie? Milk. This bowl right here, we filled it up with milk. Um, and it was good, but Jill was like, wouldn't it be good if we warmed up the milk? And I was like, yeah, it would be really good. And so then we went upstairs to someone who had a microwave. And, like, obviously it's pretty late, so people are quite tired and, like, asleep. But we needed this milk warm, so we used the microwave, came back down, and right now, here we are, eating our cookies and milk. So, it's currently two minutes until 1am, which means that it's laundry time. Well, it's time to take our stuff out of the laundry. Um, here it is. Here's the laundry room. And here's the dryers. It's great. We spend a lot of time in here. We're washing all of the time. Today actually, well not today, yesterday, we were in here taking someone's laundry out of the machine into a dryer so that it would free up a machine for us to put our stuff in. In somebody else's laundry, we'd taken it out and there was literally a like extension cord cable in there that someone had just washed and on the tag it said, do not get wet like keep away from water make sure it does not get overheated or anything which are all things that would have definitely happened in the machine during the washing process so I'm a bit concerned that that extension cord is no longer going to be functional however I think the washing machine should still work so I just remembered that an issue with my old videos was that they were filmed in portrait mode. That's actually thanks to the Stuckies who gave me that advice. But I am now going to shoot the rest of this vlog for today in landscape mode. I'm sorry, I hope the first part of this video didn't put you off from, put you off from getting to this point. But now you can full screen me, watch away. Everything is in the laundry dryer right now, which is great. Um, I'm going to turn that one on and then go to bed and I think I'll pick it up in the morning. Something actually really funny that happened the first like time I ever did washing when I got here, so that was about two months ago, was I put all my stuff, you see how there's a machine at the top and a machine at the bottom? I put all my stuff in this machine right here at the bottom, went over and like turned it on, you know, like pressed the buttons to turn it on hit play and then left and I left for like an hour probably then I came back opened it up like the timer was finished I opened it up and everything was still soaking wet so I was really confused I was like did I put it on the wrong setting but it said like low heat it was in there for an hour so I turned it on again came back an hour later again and looked and it was wet again and I was so confused what was going on and I think it took me three times to figure out that I'd put my stuff in this machine and use this buttons which actually controls this machine so what I was really doing was spinning this top machine over and over with nothing in it and my stuff had just been sitting in there wet and that's why it wasn't getting dry so just a hint if anybody is ever here at TWU and using the laundry room in Keith the left hand side buttons go for the top dryer and the right hand side buttons go for the bottom dryer it's an easy mistake to get confused by i did it but now you won't so it's currently 1 27 a.m i'm about to go to sleep i have an 8 a.m class tomorrow so i will see you guys around seven ish when i wake up because we're gonna go to the cafe for breakfast in the morning so i accidentally slept a bit too much not that much but just like an extra 20 minutes so I need to be ready for breakfast in four minutes so I'm not gonna vlog that because it's going to be a bit hectic 
it's starting to get quite a lot colder outside. I'm wearing my hoodie and tracksuit pants today. This is outside. I actually had a hammock hung up around the corner here not too long ago, about a week ago, maybe even less than a week ago, because I got given it and I was so, so excited about this hammock. The next day I went past it and it was gone. So someone literally had stolen my hammock one day after I'd put it up, which was really disappointing and I'm quite upset about it. Well, that was my first hammock and it only lasted for about 24 hours, if that. And I'm already the type of person that isn't very good at keeping things with me, but now there's another thing that I've lost. So this right here is the calf. I'm about to get my breakfast from there. You always need your ID and your mask to enter the calf. And I'm probably gonna get cornflakes this morning. Morning. She's called the rooster. A lot of people get a hot breakfast from here, but I'm, I don't really vibe with it, so I get cornflakes. So I've eaten my cornflakes. I have one minute to get to class, so. Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. Class. This class just runs half the semester, obviously, so. So my first class is finished. I was only like two minutes late, but my teacher wasn't even in there anyway because he was about five minutes late, so it didn't even matter. And now we got let out 20 minutes early. So I'm just kind of sitting in here. Something I was gonna say when I was having breakfast, I was just in a bit of a rush, is I was gonna explain what happened about a week ago um, with the milk from the calf. I had to use it to put in my cornflakes, that's what made me think about it. But about a week ago, I took a water bottle to the calf and filled it up with milk so that when I got back, I could just have some in my fridge or just drink some. And so I got back to my room and I just kind of started drinking it because I was a bit thirsty and I kind of fancied some. So I'm drinking this milk and it's in like a sizable water bottle, you know those chunky Powerade bottles it was one of those I'll see if I have a photo and I can show you but I drank maybe about half the bottle and then went downstairs to do my laundry um, you'll notice that laundry is a common theme in my life at the moment so there's like this blue table outside the laundry room which is like where you put other people's laundry if it's been sitting in a dryer for a long time and you need to use the dryer and I just put this bottle of milk on that table for while I was doing my laundry so I was intending to grab it afterwards but when I left the laundry room I forgot to grab it and go back upstairs so I'm back upstairs and eating pizza we got pizza actually delivered and there was this garlic sauce that comes with pizza here I was opening the garlic sauce so I was trying to like open this lid off of it and it was like really stuck to the tub and when I did open it, I spilled it all down my jumper. So I had to go and put my jumper straight into the laundry. It's actually still stained. So don't wear anything that you don't want to get stained when opening garlic butter. I would suggest. But anyway, I had to go run downstairs, put my jumper in the laundry, and then come back up. And on my way out, I saw that I would left my bottle however long ago I think it was about an hour ago downstairs and so I brought it back up from the laundry room and just continued to drink it and then we were watching a movie and I had like I had only about two sips left in this bottle of milk and I took a sip and it was really chunky like this was chunky milk it was like there was like little jelly pieces in it or something and I could not drink that and I made me wonder like I was just kind of gulping it for the whole bottle so I don't know if I drank some or not but this time I was just taking like a little sips because I didn't have much left so I wanted to savor it and that's when I noticed that it was really festy and so I obviously didn't drink the last bit but there was about two mouthfuls left 
and that's why I'm not sure how much I can trust the milk at the calf because I've also heard stories about other people finding clumps in their milk from there but with the options that we have for breakfast it's kind of all I've got and I do actually like cornflakes I'm also eating these things right now they're called fudge stripes they're really nice like they actually are really really good mm. for the rest of my day I'm about to go to a class which is math that's my favorite class here the professor is actually really adorable and a lot of fun then I've got chemistry and I have got an issue with chemistry the room that it's in is like it's called Townsend Auditorium and it's this big like theater room kind of thing and you get these really comfy chairs there's it's a dark room it's a really dark room he doesn't turn the lights on the lights are out I sit like kind of halfway to a quarter of the way back and he's just standing there with this really like monotone kind of voice the dark room the comfy chairs and the fact that I'm already tired all the time makes it really difficult for me to stay awake so I'm sitting there and my eyes are always like this and I'm just trying to keep them open but it's so difficult and it was about two lessons ago I think maybe three lessons ago but I think it was two lessons ago and like I've closed my eyes in classes before I think most people have but this lesson I was just flat out asleep I am surprised I wasn't sure actually I could have been I'm not sure I wasn't there for it but after the class the teacher was like Rachel will you please come up to the front I need to chat with you or something like that and so everyone's leaving and I have to go up to the front and he starts telling me that it's so disrespectful to fall asleep in class he was asking me if I was sick and I was like no I'm just tired and then he goes well that's really disrespectful which okay fair enough it is but I don't think I deserved that and then he was like if it happens again I'm gonna have to ask you to leave my classroom and I'm like you know what I don't mind being asked to leave your classroom if I get my mark for attendance you ask me to leave I am there to leave the only reason why I even show up to half my classes is because in this country you get like graded on your attendance so like if you don't show up to class it impacts your grade but if I show up to class and the teacher's like will you please leave I will say gladly it's happened in English twice now I've arrived in class and about 10 minutes later been asked to leave that's actually due to homework issues but besides the point those were my favorite two English lessons because I didn't actually have to do English so my task for today is to stay awake in chem last Monday oh no it wasn't last Monday last Friday I had a chem lesson and I managed to stay awake the whole time like it was very challenging at times like I had to find things to just stare at so that my eyes wouldn't close and the time was going so slowly but afterwards the teacher actually gave us a little speech about like I'm so impressed by all of your like awareness he didn't say awareness like paying attention attention span or something like that today and I knew that that was directed straight at me but I was complimented by it because I really worked hard to stay awake and I succeeded and he noticed so it was a great day to be me I'm just very worried that I'm not going to be able to achieve that today in class of course I'm running late to class again I ate lunch oh, I ate lunch and I just got carried away doing it and now I'm getting messages like, are you coming to class? I'm right, I'm right here. So my classes have finished for the day. I've just left my chem lab and now I am arriving home. Yup, Keith Hall. This good old building is my new home. It's lovely. One of my favorite places to be. It's exactly where I want to go home after I've had a long day. And so now that I'm about to walk in, I am so excited. So last night we just got this message from our coach and it was like, hey guys, tomorrow's Jersey day. Bring, like, be wearing a jersey or you can't play. And we were like, okay, well, what's jersey day? And it turns out we have to go to practice not wearing our training gear, but we have to be wearing like a jersey, like 
Um, for example, I could wear an Australia jersey, like from the Matildas. The thing is, I didn't bring any jerseys with me. So last night I was really freaking out. Like I don't have any jerseys. I wasn't prepared to come to my TWU practice wearing not TWU stuff. And now if I don't wear something that's not my TWU stuff, I can't play. So I was just freaked out. Last night I had like my suitcases everywhere all over my bed. Like I was unpacking all the boxes that I'd stored stuff in and I really just definitely didn't bring anything with me. So I thought, you know what, actually this is a prime opportunity to put my creativity to practice. So I got this um, just Puma plain jersey and I thought, I'm going to create my own team. And I've stuck my own logo on it. Today I'm going to be from Dudley FC. And you know, I think while being here, out of all the homework that I've done and everything that I've like had to concentrate on, this right here, I have put in the most amount of effort into and it took me such a long time. I designed the whole logo, I chose out the right colours and I am actually really proud to be repping Dudley FC today so I hope that's okay and if it isn't then it's just gonna have to be because I am really excited. And my other like tragedy with this whole jersey day thing is I don't know what socks to wear because I don't want to be boring so I've got kind of well we have black socks which I suppose would go with this but I'm also wearing like purple shorts um I could wear my yellow socks I could wear my red socks or I could wear my green socks I guess it's going to be a surprise what I go for and you might find out later and you might not so you're gonna have to stay tuned for that one also like when I just got back from my chem class I was back in Keith and I walked up the stairs and at the top of the stairs is a study room and Nicola and Jill were in it and Nicola just told me that she had some chocolate milk today from the calf when she took a sip of it it was so sour and it is so amazing ever since that whole lumpy milk incident happened to me how many people have had things happen to them um like Jill just had bad milk as well the other day and I've just it's insane all the milk stories that happen here and I think that there must be something wrong with how it's being kept because this is endangering our health and I don't think I can go many mornings without cornflakes and I need milk for my cornflakes I want to just try on all the socks just to see which ones I prefer and do you know what you can do like I'll put them all on and show you guys and you can like in your head be like oh my gosh I hope she wears these ones and then I'll tell you after which ones I choose and you see if it's what you wanted okay so the first color we're gonna try on is green this green like kind of matches the words like inside Dudley and FC the issue is this one's a bit darker this one's a bit lighter it's like a, a bluey green aqua kind of color but I'm just gonna put these ones on and then show you what they look like and I guess we'll see what we think So this is option green, what do you guys think? I'm also going to have my black boots on, so it will be like black, purple, green, and then black again. So just take it all in, let me know what you guys think. Here they are, just from all the kinds of views that you may want. Next up, it's yellow. You know that the yellow matches half of my Dudley FC emblem, so that's a real bonus. It's also the colour of the sun, and the sun's really nice, so I have a feeling you guys are going to like this combo. So, here we go. And now I'll stand up. And you can just get a whole full view including socks of the fit and don't forget once again my boots are going to be black so here we go this is yellow yellow and this is what it will look like when i kick a ball and the yellow sock 
And now presenting red. Red is for Rachel. So I'm kind of vibing with them. What do you guys think? Oh my goodness, guys. Nicola just came up with the greatest <laughs> idea. She came in. I showed her my jersey. And she goes, you must put a number behind. <laughs> So we've arrived in the study room with all of our supplies ready to paint my number on the back of this jersey. It's going to be so fun when it's finished. We love to paint, like genuinely, it is one of our favorite activities. So the paint is taking a while to dry. And so we got this hair dryer to try and speed up the process because practice is in like an hour and a half and if I just put my finger on the number 12, like it looks like a crime scene in here. Hey guys, so I'm really sorry. It's actually been a while since I've let you know what's been going on. Um, my, um, my outfit that I wore to practice today, I went with the red socks. You can't see them right now though because I took them off because they got really sandy on the volleyball court. Just for a last little show, this was my logo today and we painted uh, number 12 on the back which was, that's because it's my number here, I'm number 12. And yeah, I also, I just want to show you these because everyone here has like the coolest crocs. Like there's these. Don't you think they're cool? Look at the patterns on there. And also, like, I hope you can still hear me over the music. I'll just step over here. But there's also these ones. And people have, like, bright yellow Crocs. They're just, I really wish that I brought mine, but I just didn't think they'd be trendy here. What do you know they really are? Hey, guys. Thanks for watching my video, my day in the life vlog. I really enjoyed making this one, and I hope you enjoyed watching what my day looks like over here in Tennessee. I just want to say a special mention to the Stuckies for giving me this video idea. Just remember to like my video, comment if you have any suggestions for other videos that you want to see and hit the notification bell because who knows when my next video might come up. See you guys!